back in 1991, it was pretty much a death sentence. For decades, millions of people like Jay Johnson have been getting treatment to slow HIV AIDS, but there's still no known cure. There was a breakthrough three years ago. A man in Berlin received a blood stem cell transplant for his leukemia. His donor had a rare natural immunity to infection with the AIDS virus, so the transplant wound up curing both problems. But finding such donors for everyone with AIDS is impossible, and transplants are very risky. So U.S. doctors are trying to create a similar kind of immunity. Dr. Pablo Tebas is leading one of several studies that use gene therapy to modify a patient's own cells. Gene therapy is to modify the makeup of your genes or your chromosomes. All the information of what we are is in our genes, is in the DNA in your cells. It's the first time for any disease that cells have been genetically modified in this manner. We take the CD4 cells of patients infected with HIV, and those CD4 cells, which is the type of cell that HIV infects, are taken into the lab and they are modified. And what we do is we remove the core receptor that HIV uses to infect those cells. Jay Johnson is among those participating in the University of Pennsylvania study. It interests me um, due to the fact that maybe someday I can come off with drug therapy altogether, um, which would be wonderful. During an AIDS conference in Boston on Monday, experts said there has been some success, but it's still very early and there are many unanswered questions. For Johnson, it's a step that he hopes brings scientists closer to finding a cure. 20 years later, I'm still here, and there's still options that's improving every day. It's estimated more than 30 million worldwide are living with HIV-AIDS. Sandy Kozell, The Associated Press.